Hi everyone. For those of you that do not know me, my name is Tina Gordon. I'm the Vice Principal at Pinecrest Elementary and I have a long uh, relationship working with the Technology Department here in our school district. I'm going to be helping out as well with the rollout of the new teacher devices. As you know, you'll be getting a new Lenovo L13 Yoga ThinkPad in the very next few weeks. We'll be trading in our Surface Pros to, for this newer device. If you're a temporary teacher, you'll keep your Surface Pro until the end of June when your contract finishes, and then pending your new contract in the fall, instead you'll receive a brand new device. So what's going to happen is that in the next couple of weeks, uh, one of the teachers at your school that has volunteered graciously to help out with this project, they'll be reaching out to you, and, or I'll let you know as well, let them know that they are at the school, ready to be handed out. You'll connect with that teacher. You'll bring your Surface Pro, your pen tool, and your dongles. The dongles, when you, were, when you first got your device, you received um, two adapters for the projectors. One of them is HDMI, one of them is VGA. Most of you have HDMI. Make sure you don't leave that connected to the projector cord in your classroom. It has a little tiny square box end. It will only fit in the Surface Pro. That will not fit in your new device. Your new device has a regular full HDMI plug. So you need your, your Surface Pro, your pen tool, and your dongles, and you're going to take those to the teacher and you're going to trade them. Now, what if you've lost some of those items? Don't panic. We're trying to recover as many as we possibly can. But don't panic if you don't have them. You'll also bring your charging cord. Okay. Um, you will then be trading those for your new Lenovo. You'll be asked to sign the digital toolkit agreement. You've already signed that before, but it's just a reminder as well of what's on there. You'll also be asked if you want to keep your old, the, the big full-size monitor, the keyboard, and the mouse in your classroom. With this new laptop, you'll be able to plug those in directly. The little black box, which is the uh, docking station that you currently have, that they're all plugged into, that you would just plug that one thing into your Surface Pro, that is specific to your current device, your Surface Pro. That will not work on your new ThinkPad. However, you will be able to get a new one of those if you like. But we need to remove some old hardware first. Now, some people are not using their big monitors. They don't want the keyboard and mouse. It's just an extra giant item on their desk, and they just don't really want those. So here's your chance to make some room and get rid of them. Also, you can put this anywhere you want in your classroom. Our wireless has been beefed up that you can put your you know, if you want to move your desk somewhere else, you want to put this anywhere you want in your classroom, you can, okay? So you're going to bring your Surface Pro, your dongles, your pen, your uh, power. Don't bring the carrying case. You can keep that. And you're going to trade those in. You're going to let the teacher know if you want to keep your other keyboard, mouse, and, and um, keyboard and mouse. Also, you're going to let them know, would you like a pen tool? Would you like a docking station? These are not automatically going to come with those items because it was a lot of money put out last time that not everybody really ended up using. So instead, we're just going to provide those to people that actually want one. If you decide partway down the road that, you know what, I think I would like to try using a pen tool, you'll be able to let the IT department know and we'll get you one at that time. Okay, so um, let us know then if you would like those things and then when we get those in, we will deliver those to you. We'll be buying those based on what our numbers are. Now, once you get your device, it's going to need about 30 to 60 minutes, probably air on 60 minutes, to do all of the updates it needs to do, the registration and everything. So it would be best to do this at the end of the school day. Okay, then you're just going to log in and you can just walk away from it and just let us do its thing. And by the next day, it's ready, good to go. Or you can even take it home and you can do it there. Before you had to log in the first time at school, this time you don't have to. You can take it home the day you get it. You can turn it on. So, um, before you can sign in though, you will need to connect to your home wireless. Little icon at the bottom right hand corner. Connect to your home wireless and then you can let it do its entire setup from home. It will make a bunch of changes. Let it sit about an hour and um, then you're good to go. Okay, you're welcome to bring these back and forth to home and to school 
just like before, it is registered to you. Now these are set up a bit differently than before. If you see anything that seems to be not right, anything is missing, like your blue cloud for OneDrive is missing or your Word apps are missing, just walk away and let it be for a while. The chances are it just needs to go through another cycle of updates and it will be there. Okay, I know I had that with mine, had a little panic, but it's okay. It will come back. Just let it, let it sit. All right. Um, I will send another video out when a little bit closer to let you know how you can do some specific setups for some individualized items because you might want some apps. You might want to change your sleep settings and um, anyway, just some other little, little personalization things that you'll want to do when you get your device. All right. Let's enjoy. Good luck.